Man, it's hard out here, man. I'm from the east side of Detroit. Van Dyke and Harper to be exact. And niggas that all day, every day over there. Over crack cocaine. What the fuck are you talking about? Hey, baby, Papa, I ain't re- We here with my man, the king, Gordy. No you doubt, man. Me? Van Dyke and Harper's Christopher Wallace, man. Yeah, man, we doing that Van Dyke life shit, man. So it is, Tell man. Tell what it is, man. Yeah, man, it's just based on man slick her down. He'd always been, you know, we, we're very prideful in where we come from, you know what I'm saying? We, we from that exit 218, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Right off 594, Van Dyke and Harper area, man. Um, and uh, it, this is just basically showing our lifestyle and how we grew up and, you know, so how we, you know, I don't call it a trap. I call it janks and spots and layouts because that's what we did, you know yes. what I'm saying? We, we was in janks with the T-bones on the door, on the floor and shit up against the door. So we just fit to give you that aspect of that East Side Detroit life, which is Van Dyke and Harper shit, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Man Slick Card on to see his Van Dyke life, you know what I'm saying? What up, we down town, hey, my man, nigga Slick Card on. I show my mama and the chopper cause they don't believe I don't rule. We on Jefferson right now, baby. Right. 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 I know your mama, nigga, you know mine too. Must I remind you, it ain't hard to find you. Just get your paper, I'll get my paper, it's good. 1985, they Now mags are shooting, uh, cause bags are moving. Uh, so fast, your ass ain't got no cash, so you in. Uh, I'm fucked up a nigga, man. Uh, I'm out here with 50 bricks. The 94 freeway? Yeah, the freeway was never here. in town today. Like I stood up. Yeah. 23 punch here. It's nothing for me to knock down the safety and shoot you. I ain't fronting the faking. I'm just actually being blunt while these other... Rich what up, baby? Times when we was in high school, it was it was great. This neighborhood over here, it's nice. We had the kids to come up here for a dollar uh, in the afternoon. The movie used to be over from five to nine. We had the people from the school to come up and run it, and we we had a wonderful time. We used to be stores down on the corner there. It was great. Where we at right now? 
We own a Van Dyke and Hopper area, you know, in on the east side of Detroit, off of 94. And uh, all this neighborhood was prominent. All this was nice. We had um, we had east side sporting goods to our left here. We had um, we had um, a Flag Brothers store used to be on the corner. We had the National Coney Islands here on the cross Van Dyke there on the corner and. You know, it was just prominent. We had, it was just great over here in the neighborhood. You know, it was just so much that deteriorated over the, a 20 years, year period. Uh -huh. you know, 20 year period, just how they let the city just go down and not, you know, take care of things that, that should have been. Look at the grass. You know, it's just, it's bad. It's just bad. Nicest neighbor, you could come, the bus service was great. Hopper had a steady bus terminal. You know, Van Dyke had a steady bus turn. What were some of the um, what were some of the neighbors like? What were some of the races of people that was around in this area before? Uh, it was it was more. Uh, I want to say from from Hop from from Van Dyke to Miller from Van Dyke to Miller. It was more black, but from Miller down to to French Road, it was more white and black. Uh -huh. You know, it was white and black. It was a mix. The neighborhood was, you know, Kettering was maybe say 60% black and a few whites. But you know, it was a it was a unit. It was like a family. When did the neighborhood start to change, as far as the color of the neighborhood and the like? When did blacks start moving in, and where did the blacks come from when they moved in? During the time, of maybe after the 85. 1985, the neighborhood started changing. People was coming from from other places like the North End and on St. Jean. They was trying to get more to Six Mile because at one time, Six Mile was considered the cutoff for blacks. Okay. You know, Six Mile, you couldn't go past Six Mile. Six Mile was more the cutoff. If you stayed past Six Mile, you was in Osborne area. So you couldn't go to Kettering, but from Six Mile back, you was Kettering from the 48213 area. That's the area you had to go to. If your address had that, you had to go to Ketter, and that was the place you had to go. And, and what year did they start to come over here? What year did black start to migrate to this area? About 1978, 76. Massive, 76. a lot yep, of them. Yep, yep, 76, 78. Okay. Because I moved, we moved in the neighborhood in 1970. And where did most black people come from? Like The North End, near uh, Jefferson and Cadillac, St. Jean area, because- The from, Black Bottom? Yeah, the Black Bottom. Then because from Six Mile, from Van Dyke, from Van Dyke and Grasher to Six Mile was more prominent, prominent neighborhood. It, oh, was, yeah. it was nice homes. It was people that had been there a long time, older people. It was white and black. So they kids also went to Kettering and Osborne and all the schools in the, in the neighborhood. Right. VL Slick, Van Dyke yeah. Life, Cardon, Cardon. Tune Kundalini, yeah. Tune Kundalini. Hot, Hot Life, okay. okay, Van Dyke Life, yeah. I live it, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh. I got foreign whips, whips foreign looking chicks, foreign looking them picture models, yeah. I'm getting foreign chips, uh -huh. foreign lip linguistics, she fluent in different languages, just learn to speak English and she can't say my name, yeah, yeah, I done seen it, it almost done it all, I'm picture perfect 70s slick, yeah bitch I ball, switching cars, car down, I dog hoes daily, so, so fuck you pay me, if she fuck you she gon' pay me, and that's your lady, and that's a damn shame, secret society, I like Nowadays we're killing niggas, no more just shitting in diapers. Guarantee if we can't get you, you won't be missed by the sniper. Why you rookies think you alarm and protected by Viper? End up in the back of a farm where the Texas can't find you. Now I stood on the black all night, me. I got to be Yeah. 
sit on the blocks. Lil Papa just breeze through, dropping off e waves scooping up three, then back on the freeway. On stacks every three days. They say the streets pay. We say respect it and live it. That's just how we play. I'm a hustler's hustler. Still fuck with the gutter. Peels puff for that butter. That's still tough for them suckers. Oh, wait, Camaro sitting on Tay Shines. My rosters and shot up. Go and pop on when they hate time. Your boy lay bombs. Spray napalm. Get rich. Ain't balls. It's bricks looking for the stars. to stick. The niggas whooping. They ain't hard as shit. They ain't cooking if they starve. It's sick. Fend I can haul for click. Grand. Okay. There it go. Come on now. Van Dyke and Harper. Please all day. Okay. 30 years of over. Okay. Y'all give away shoes. Everything. Clothes. Clothes. Food. Socks. It's going down, man. And we still got things. We got to eat. It's like four hours early. <laughs> hey, yo, this is Van Dyke and Harper's Christopher Wallace. Over here, man. Oh, uh, where it all started yeah, for me, man. Van Dyke and Harper, you know what I'm saying? My kingdom. Over here, watching people uh, get fed, the less fortunate get fed, you know what I'm saying? I respect that. I wish, you know, if anything, they could have hit me up. If anything I could have did, I would have made it happen for them too, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. They make it happen for themselves. I'm proud of that. You know what I'm saying? They are uh, they doing their thing, man. This is Van Dyke, you know what I'm right. saying? That's real. Sure. Right.